What's going on? Not shit. Shoulders in abs day. Yeah. But uh, we are back at Gold's Gym because Louis Campione is fucked up. And uh, so stay tuned. We're going to be switching gyms. Dude, I'm so fucking tired. I'm not tired. I don't get tired. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> nope, we're just uh, descendants of the young Kevin Gates. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Maybe that's why the guy was late this morning. He hit his head on the peck deck. Last time we were here, I had no shorts on. Now I got shorts on. Yeah. But it's like there's no difference because my legs are hairy as fuck. I feel like the music's ten times better in here this morning too. We got a little house music going. I think it's pretty self-explanatory what we're doing here. TJ, we are doing ass presses. Gluteus assimus presses, all right? You know, once when I was a little girl, I used to play with Barbies. And I grew up to be a burly looking motherfucker. And now I play with metal plates. Simple terms, I pick things up just to put them down. That's my motivation. Pick things up, put them down. Understandable. Yeah. Don't do drugs. Top set first, six to eight reps, so your heaviest set. And then next set, you have a back off set, so you drop the weight and do 10 to 12. So we got 225 on the bar. You ever seen that old man? On uh, Instagram. That one old man on Instagram. Yeah. Dude. I, I think I think a lot of people probably know what I'm talking about. Guys like like body weight 235. Down a slim 10 pounds from last week. Age 73 years old. 185 on the bar. Going for three. And then he'll fucking rep the shit out and he'd be like, some people got it, some people don't. And then he flexes real weird. And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? If I die, I die. Six to eight. Six to eight sets and reps. Your knees just cracked really loud. TJ's becoming an old man. Bro, my knees crack all the time. He's deaf blind. I've got arthritis in the knees. Man's going through it. Now all of a sudden he's working out at a Gold's Gym. Eventful day. At least I really failed. What? At least I really failed. Yeah, that's what we're going for, right? Yeah. Drop the weight, finish up your rep. No, that's it. Six to eight. Idiot. Cable, single arm, lateral raise. Two sets, 10 to 12. Body weight, smooth, 205. You're at 205? Yeah. Oh, it had been like 203 to 205 for a minute. Wait. Huh? Five pounds? Yeah, dude. Been at a maintenance diet that's for a minute. The, that's the, uh, the cream of wheat. <laughs> dude, that cream of wheat fucking blow you up. Turn my ugly mug. Just kidding. 
guess uh, I have an oscillating camera. Go see my guy Reggie up at the front. Dude's a real one. <laughs> also, change your body, change your life, right? Don't change the standard. It's up on the wall, baby. It's getting crazy in this shit. Like our guy Patrick Bateman. A glare. I was just trying so hard not to laugh. But all I could think about was Adrian! You gonna get it? What? Did you get it? Yeah. Here, let's just turn it's it on. It's inside get, out, dude. You mean you got it from the. No, you didn't get it back, so here you go. It's inside out. I noticed because the seams are just sticking up. Like your shoulder seams. Should I take my shirt off in the middle of the gym? Nope. <laughs> Two sets, AMRAP, shirt inside out, smooth 205. You gotta keep saying stupid shit like that from that guy. <laughs> so people got it. Can you reach that? Some people got it, some people don't. <laughs> I got it. So, uh, any inside on life? Mix, mix set? No, because this hurts. Let me go post set, dick. <laughs> this hurts? Yeah. Sounds like weak mindset, dude. You're a weak mindset. Inside on life. That's it. Thanks. That's all you wanted? I didn't know if you were going to say anything else. Well, you kind of like cut me off. I lost my train of thought. So my mind, like, once you said something, it went blank. <laughs> oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm done. So once you said, sounds good, I was like, or whatever you said, I was like, okay. My brain literally just went blank. The shoulders and abs workout for the day here at Gold's Gym. Shout out to Reggie. Been a real one. Somebody promote this man or give him a raise. He deserves it. Seriously, like it's not a fucking joke. The dude's like cool as fuck. And you can tell he works hard. Seven years. Huh? Seven years. Seven years, Gold's Gym. Give that man a fucking raise or a promotion, whatever it is. I'm tired. To conclude our shoulders and ab workout in this YouTube video, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit more about accountability. And that's accountability for yourself and also maybe your teammates around you. So for myself, I have a bodybuilding coach. His name is Austin Espy. And last week, I had a lot of shit going on in life. And I fucked off and went off of my diet plan. And he held me accountable. He laid into me, right? So he gave me the understanding that it's all about how bad I want it. Because he can give me all the tools, the resources, but it's up to me to put the work in. So he holds me accountable to the things I tell him that I want to do. And you have to be able to do that for yourself. It's good to have accountability partners, but you have to help yourself as well and hold yourself accountable at the same standard somebody else will. Because when you tell yourself you're gonna do something and you don't do it, you're just breaking promises to yourself and we gotta stop doing that. If there's promises we never wanna break are the ones to ourselves because those are gonna be the ones that set the difference and those are gonna be the ones that set you apart from everybody else and make you more successful. So hold yourself accountable to the highest standards that you can. And that's it. Roach doesn't stop yapping. Huh? Roach doesn't stop yapping. I don't. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Keeps, gets the people going. That's it. Done? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs>